Okay. <gasps> it's me. I'm the king. <laughs> Super cool. What's going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome to Fallen Kingdom. Oh, hello, hello. Oh, and they're gone. <laughs> welcome to Fallen Kingdom. So, this is actually a server. Um, I believe this is actually Captain Sparkle's server, and it looks super neat. So, I wanted to check it out because, like, why not? Absolutely. So, uh, basically, what I got excited about is it's a tower defensey kind of game, like a kingdom builder tower defensey kind of thing. And I want to check it out. This is not all the mod six. We're going to get back to all the mod six, but I want to check out something new and exciting. And this really excited me because I'm like, I'm like, well, fog, look at that. Look at that. It's amazing. So this is a public server. It's not affiliated with me. I'm just playing on it. Um, so everything is just at your own risk. Anyways, I want to get into it. I've never done it. I don't know what's going on, but I'm super excited. I love tower defense games. And the fact that there's like a tower defense in Minecraft, like, I mean, come on. That sounds like amazing. So let's go ahead. Let's travel to kingdom. Uh, loading kingdom. Okay, so we got to wait. I think it's I think it's rebooting is what people are saying. So uh, I want to travel to the kingdom. I want to do the things. I'm so excited. So let's hold on. Let's let's just take a peek around here. So we have the kingdom there. Uh, we have mines. So there's a mine to go mining. Obviously, that's what mines are for. Um, a banker. So I believe what it is is you buy stuff with gold. And essentially what it kind of looks like is you get your own little kingdom and you set up different shops and they're all different levels starting with, and then you can upgrade them as you upgrade your kingdom. However, there are raids, uh, in a tower defensey fashion where they'll follow like a path. You set up like little towers to like defend your raids or your defend your place and stuff like that. So it just looks super neat. Uh, hello. Can nothing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> anyways, but it is super new. Um, I believe Captain Sparkles just announced it. So, uh, anyways, I'm super excited and I want to get in here. So we're going to wait to get into here. Hey, we're here. Oh my gosh. The King, welcome to Fallen Kingdom. I used to rule the world, but now it's time for you to take the crown. What would you like the name of your kingdom one kingdom to be? Oh, it's going to be, uh, oh gosh. What should we name it? It's, it's got to be like, uh, okay, it's got to be Zetopia. We're just going to name it Zetopia. I'm sorry. I couldn't come up with anything fancy. All right. I'm sorry. Wait, that didn't work. Why did that not work? Only letters and numbers. Oh, no. Z. Topia. Are we good? No. <laughs> didn't like that either. I'm just going to name it Z1G. Is that okay? Yes. All right. Z1G. That's what we're doing. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. A noble name. Now, every self-respecting kingdom needs a flag. So, uh, what would you like your primary color to be? <gasps> oh, oh, let's do black and red. It better let me do a secondary color. Choose a secondary color. Yes. Red. Are these your kingdom colors? Yes. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. Outstanding. And I don't just say that because it's the only thing programmed. <laughs> All right. Follow me. Let's set up your kingdom's defenses. <gasps> Oh, he has a pickaxe on his head. <laughs> oh, oh, hello. Okay. Uh, follow me to the bottom of the stairs. I'll show you there where your enemies will begin their raids against you. Oh, this sounds exciting. Okay. So this whole little kingdom is mine. Oh. From here, you can create the pathway enemies will follow to reach your castle. Enemies must follow your raid path when attacking. Defense towers may only be placed directly adjacent to the blocks. Okay. All right. So I can, can I, okay. Useful tools in your inventory to create your raid path. The final tile must connect to the base of your castle. Okay. So how do, okay. What is this? Place path, undo path. All right. So ideally you want the pathway to be as long as possible. So we have 64 path blocks that we can choose from. So I'm going to go through, hold on, undo path, place path. Okay, so. Okay, so let's go this way. Uh, and we have to, I believe we have to connect it all the way to, wait, hold on, this is, is it 64 blocks in here? Uh, and okay, then we have to go here, we have to go there. So we have to go up here. 
Okay, so I'm going to place just like a straight line to see how many blocks that takes. And then from there, I'm going to change it to uh, to make it like a loopy, loopy thing. Because, I mean, ideally, you want your pathway to be as long as possible with as many S-curves and things like that as possible. Um, okay, so let's just go ahead. But if I hit this, it undoes it. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is amazing. Okay, so let's do this. Now, do I only get 64 blocks in this one area? So if I do it this way, and we go there, and then I have to go here. Okay, all right, so let me get this placed, and then we're gonna undo it, and we're gonna put some like F's curves and stuff like that in it. It's gonna be amazing. Now, I'm almost wondering if you get more blocks over time, because there's a lot of space here. Like a lot, a lot of space here. So I'm actually kind of curious, because it looks like we can come out here, and we can either connect right here and go back down this way, or it looks like we go this way and over in that way. So um, I don't know, but let's see. Let's find out. Okay, so it looks like this is about where I think I have to end on this spot. Now, I don't want to end it yet because I don't want to. I want to make sure that that's not going to do its thing. Um, okay, so hold on. If we wanted to say we want to wind and twist and stuff like that because we need to be able to place up turrets on i believe one turret's gonna take up a whole square that's that's my guess oh my gosh we have to go back all the way from the beginning <laughs> oh my gosh oh okay all right all right so let's keep going back let's start let's let's wind and twist the beginning and we'll kind of see how this goes okay so i'm really hoping we get more pathways along the way because uh i'm already like oh my gosh i think we will <laughs> but i'm already like super close to needing uh I don't know if I'm going to have enough to even honestly finish this right now, to be completely honest. I don't know that I do. Uh, no. I don't have... I have hit the limit. Okay, so we have to undo some stuff here. All right, apparently I went too, wind, too windy and too twisty in the beginning. Okay, I've done it. I've made a pathway. <laughs> yes, it looks like you've reached your base of your castle. Would you like to continue with this raid path or return to editing? I think we're good. Now, I don't know if you can change it right now. I think I saw some people chatting about it that it's going to be coming in the future that you can change it later on. But I think it's good. I think it's good. We maxed out. We used all 64. It's complete. All right. <gasps> path was created. Uh, your barricade has finished construction. I guess since greatness in kingdom, however, you still have more to build before... Uh, place down this builder's hut anywhere you'd like. The builder's hut offers blueprints for everything you'll need. Place a builder's hut in your kingdom. You cannot place buildings next to your raid path. This area is reserved for defense towers. Okay, so we have a builder's hut. Now, um, I don't think... So we can't place it over here. So here's our... Okay, uh, barricade level one. Hold to interact. What? Oh, we got some stuff. Okay. So buildings, we got builders hut, a bank, a uh, blacksmith mine, farm barracks. All right. So can I place these around here, or do I place these kind of back over here, maybe, like behind the castle? I would feel like they would go behind the castle, like this area right here. Oh, look at there's like a beautiful little town and everything. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely where it's got to go. Oh yeah, this is absolutely okay. Uh oh, look how cool that is. You cannot place your building here. Oh, this is super cool looking. Is there like a rotate? Uh, see, I don't know what the front is. What is the front? This is the, okay, so this is the builder's hut. Uh, all right, let's throw a builder's hut maybe. Right click to lock your preview. Left click to place down, crouch to cancel. Okay, so like... Is this a good spot? I don't I don't know what the front is. Um, let's do it. Let's just let's put it down. Except. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. Bob the Build. <laughs> it's Bob the Builder. <laughs> Purchase a bank blueprint at your builder's hut and place it in your kingdom. Okay, so uh bank level one, barrack level one, blacksmith level one, farm. Okay, so a bank level one. Having trouble seeing your building's outline? Scroll to a different inventory slot and then return to your blueprint. Okay, all right, so this is the bank. I don't want the bank there. I want the bank like 
feel like I want the bank like right behind my tower. You know what I mean? Like the bank should be like, like right here. Maybe. Okay, let's look. Uh, I want the bank there. I kind of think I want it over here. Let's put it over here. How does that look? Oh, see, that takes up a lot of space from here. Man, this building is way bigger than I realized. Um, can it squeeze in here? You know what? Can we put the bank over here? I don't even think it'll fit over here. This thing is massive. Oh my gosh, this thing is huge. Okay, can we put it like right here somewhere? All right, how much room does that leave us? Okay, so we have room over there. We have room right there. Man, this thing is a monster. It is gigantic. All right, that, you know what? That looks good. Uh, except. Oh, <gasps> uh, we've got a bank. Place the troop barracks building in your kingdom. Okay, troop barracks build. Oh my God, this thing is huge too. Uh, How am I supposed to fit all this stuff? Okay, hold on. Will it fit in here? That looks like it's about as good as it's gonna get. Like, that thing is a monster. Except. Oh, this area is super cool. Okay, place the farm building in your kingdom. Oh my god. <laughs> These things are huge. How is this thing so big? It's so big. Uh. You didn't just shoot at me, did you? No, you would never do that. Not to your, not to your new king. All right, let's place this right here. Accept. Okay, so we have a farm over here. Place the blacksmith. Okay, let's go place this over by the. Let's go place this over by the builder. I feel like that's a, a common building. Blacksmith, builder. I feel like that's that's ideal. How big are you? Oh, you're yeah, you're not even that big. You know, can we can we squeeze that like right in here somewhere? Mmm, it's gonna look a little janky if we do. Could put it right here. That might actually fill it out a little bit better. Actually, I kind of like that. I kind of like this right here. It kind of is like a a little bit nicer transition. Let's do it. Oh yeah, see, like look at now we got that there. We've got this guy here. I like that. Okay. Uh, place the mine building in your kingdom. Okay, I want to place this over here in the corner. Back over here. I feel like this is a good mining spot if it'll fit. This thing is a monstrosity. Okay, so click that. Place it down. Accept. Mine level one. <gasps> oh, it's amazing. Now that your essentials buildings are done, um, we must mount the kingdom defenses. Let's start by placing two barricades. These will help you slow enemy progress through your raid path. Your first barricade can be placed near the beginning of your path. Okay, so we have a barricade level one. Cannot place in a building area. Oh, there's building areas down here. I didn't know that. I wonder if you're gonna be able to move stuff eventually. You know what I mean? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let's put a barricade like right here. Yeah. Barricade level one. Okay. Your second barricade can be placed in the middle portion of your path. Oh, so this is the beginning area. And this is like the middle over here, I guess, maybe? Uh, let's place it over here somewhere. Let's see. What do we got? I'm kind of looking. Maybe we should place it. Well, maybe there's a barricade. There's probably a barricade already right there. Uh, oh, no, it's got to be in this area. Okay. All right, so let's place that maybe right here. No. Right here. Yeah. Except. All right. Barricades are the only component of your defense. Defense towers will be the best chance of neutralizing enemy invaders. Take these defense towers. You can place them anywhere directly adjacent to your raid path. Okay. Uh, you must also strategize for invaders to not get past your barricades. Every time a barricade falls, it provides a new checkpoint for enemy kingdom to spawn new troops. What? Uh, place your archer tower anywhere along your raid path. Okay, so I don't have... Do, do I have a... I don't have an archer, archer tower. Oh, there it is. Okay. 
so archer tower obviously like i want that right here next to this barricade so when they're working on the barricade they're gonna get like wrecked you know exactly that's what we want uh right click and then left click accept uh-oh face your zombie oh no they're facing the wrong way click here to interact oh no it's facing the wrong way no i can't do that right now okay so we have a zombie grave. You can't place that building here. I got to place it in the middle area, don't I? Okay. Okay, can I place it here? Okay, zombie grave. Place the beehive anywhere along your path to protect. Can I place it up front? I'd prefer, I'd prefer they don't get to, uh, to get to my base place. You know what I mean? So this looks like a good spot. Um, let's see. Let's go from right here. Maybe place that down, except now I think that these are gonna, they're gonna have a look to them, but I, I don't know what the deal is right now. They kind of just look like invisible blocks for me. <laughs> place your snowman fortress at any place along your path as well. Uh, okay. So snowman. I mean, ideally, I want to place everything at the beginning, but I only have one snowman fortress left, but I don't want them to get to the next checkpoint. Uh, we'll just put it right here. We'll see how this goes. Except. Hey! Uh, your kingdom defenses, uh, you will need to keep working. Congratulations. Go see Jerry at the blacksmith to get started. Use K to manage your kingdom. Stop by and see Aaron at your barracks to train some troops for raids. Oh, now we can do the things. Okay, so what, what can I do here? Click here to interact. Uh, upgrade your archer tower to level two damage goes from six to 6.5 attack speed uh detection radius oh it's a radius okay so it's not even gonna matter if they're facing the right way or not upgrade time is 30 minutes archer tower take aim at your opponents this tower will bring you victory and then we can pick it up oh this is super cool i'm saying this is super cool all right so now that we've done this let's go over here let's go to the barracks let's go to the bank let's check this stuff out because i have nothing my inventory is empty completely empty and i don't believe we can just craft stuff in the 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 conventional means i think we actually have to like buy stuff uh from bob the builder builders can they build it yes they can uh upgrade your builders have to level two builders have to level one look for builders can do it yourself anymore bank barracks that stuff buildings we already did that towers oh we could switch to a towers category archer zombie snowman uh locked creeper mortar mage tower oh these look super cool okay so i don't need a builder kingdom gold is 1200 raid points is zero gems is 120 uh richard banker what's up dude kingdom vault stores all your kingdom's gold and farm resources bank capacity thing on top of the max capacity of gold kingdom Gold capacity is 200,000. Jeez Louise. Bank interest. Show me a bit of interest. Uh, I'm showing you interest rate. Every day your money will raise by the interest rate of 1.02. That's cool. Raid points. Gold. Wheat. Bamboo. Beetroot. Sugarcane. Sweetberries. Carrot. Okay. So there's different items. It was this. Next page. Raw chicken. Red mushroom. Oh. I like this. Oh, this is super neato. Okay. So now jerry blacksmith okay armory uh you already have this category selected locked i can't make any of those i can't make any of those can't make any of those <laughs> what the heck? click to unlock wait do i have unlock points raid points crowns grace period is 1.8 hours click to unlock click to unlock once you have some experience uh head to the into the mines hold on what did you say Head into the mines and get yourself some logs and come back and speak to me. I can teach you about how to craft some tools. Oh, okay. And then what do we have over here? Barracks, troop capacity, uh, zero of 50. And then what do we have on our butcher farm farmer? What do you have? What's your deal? I'm glad to see you out about, uh, you can talk to me anytime about crops or related matter. Okay. Well, I can't talk to you because you don't want to talk to me. Hardy meat from chickens. Breed time one hours. Product ten raw chicken, ten feather, two thousand gold. What? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Okay, so let's go to the mine. Let's go check this out. All right, so we're here. What's up, Mister Miner? 
Upgrade your mine level two, portal to the mines. Okay, I think we can just jump in here though. Whoop! <gasps> and we're in the mining area. Okay. Wait, so do we just mine these logs? Is that is that the deal? Mine elevator. So there's a mine right there. And we need but we need logs. I need I need logs. I mean I guess can we get them from here? Let's see what happens. Oh! Oak log! Okay. And then they turn into this. What do we get from that? Nothing. Okay. All right. Three. What about stone? Uh, we can't do anything on stone. Oh, and then they replenish. Okay, cool. Obviously, it's a server. They're going to have to replenish, right? All right. So let me grab some logs. I don't know how many logs I need. Uh, I'll just grab a bunch, I guess. Oh my gosh. That guy's got an axe. I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. All right. So I have 25 logs. How do I go back to my kingdom? Is this entering safe zone? Does this go back to my kingdom? Castle level one. Okay. <gasps> it's me. I'm the king. <laughs> Super cool. Oh, there's like a little crafting table and stuff over here. Of course. <laughs> Can't access it. Raid table. I don't know where that goes. Is there a way to get down like out of the back of my tower? Oh, hold on a second. What's this? Where does this go? Uh, It's like an outlook. Oh, I just want to explore this area now. Ooh, super spooky. Very dark. Scary. I wonder what this is going to be. Ooh, I don't know. I'm excited. Okay, so let's go out. Let's talk to uh, let's talk to our guy. Let's see what we got here. Now, like I said, I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be uh, visuals with these, and they're not supposed to be just a, a, a thing here. Like, I think there's supposed to be something there, but I don't know what the dealio is. You know, I almost wonder... I almost wonder if I don't have the right resource pack installed because there is one like when you, when you first joined the game and I thought I installed it, but maybe I didn't. All right, let's talk to this guy. What's up, my dude? Um, Weapons, locked wooden sword, wooden that, wooden pickaxe. Can I unlock you? There's no way, wait, hold on. Wait, did it unlock it? No, did it? Oh, it did! Tools forged from logs. Uh, durability three. Forge costs sixteen logs. Uh, stone axe. Can I get that? You've crafted zero five wooden axes. Keep up the good work. Oh, okay. So we have to craft five wooden axes to get a stone axe. Okay, so let me get a wooden axe. <gasps> oh, is he gonna give it to me? Can I has that? Oh, oh, he's working on it. Can can I have it? Inventory. There it is. We got a wooden axe, boys. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to re-log real quick. I want to see if this resource pack thing is uh, what's causing these to not show up. Hey, there it is. Okay, yes, it was the resource pack. For some reason, I didn't get it loaded. <gasps> that is a barricade? Oh, that's super cool looking. Hold on. Let's go look at all our stuff. Uh, apparently, I don't have anything up here. <laughs> Nothing up here. Oh, this is the graveyard thing. This is the zombie deal. The zombie grave. <gasps> Rip Rick. <laughs> that's funny. And then there's our little snowman hut. And then there's the bees. Oh, this is cool. What is this? Ice fortress? Snowman fortress? Beehive? Click to interact. Oh, these look super cool. Oh, there's the archer tower. Ha ha! I knew it. I knew it. Okay. So, uh, I guess we have to go make some stuff. We have to make a bunch of stuff. In order to, uh, in order to, like, unlock anything. Now, we do have some logs. So, I want to see if I can go through and unlock some of the, uh, the wooden tools. And then it looks like we have to craft so many of each tool to unlock the next tool. So if I go into here and I go to weapons, I, oh, it costs 24 logs. And then how many do I have? Five wooden swords to make a stone sword. Okay. All right. We need a lot of logs. Let's go get some logs, shall we? Okay. So we're going to get some logs. Now we got to be careful because um, I think mobs spawn in here. So we, we got to be a little bit careful. How fast is this now? Well, it's a little bit faster. Oh, there's a durability though. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, there's a dude. That's super cool. Is there an area that has like specifically logs? Uh, mine elevator. That's going to go down. I'm guessing we just get logs from these areas right here. 
Yeah, that's probably what it is. Because I'm sure eventually, like, logs are probably just the beginner stuff, and then we're eventually going to get, like, stone and iron and all that fun stuff. So this is probably just all, like, super beginner noob stuff that I'm doing. <laughs> oh, my axe broke. I guess it's time to go back. Uh, do we have, like, a menu to go home? Is there not, like, a home uh, home deal, nether star kind of deal? Doesn't look like it. And I already took damage from simply falling. <laughs> Wonderful. Ugh. You know, the only thing that I don't, I'm not a huge fan of is that you always come back to the middle of your castle like that. And now I have to run all the way, I have to run all the way around to the back of my castle. Ugh. Maybe I should have put stuff up over here. No, I don't think so. I think that was the build area. Because I think this is part of the, uh, the raid, the, the raid paths that you can do. All right, Jerry. I want some stuff. Um... Do I want that or do I, should I just focus on, I mean, honestly, like if we're going to need this much wood to get through the wooden tier, part of me thinks that we should just make axes, get through the stone axe and then, uh, get just so we can get as much wood as possible. Uh, let's do that. All right. Three pick at or three axes down. We should be able to make the final axe that we need in order to get a stone axe. Now, uh, I probably have to make I'm probably gonna have to make a pickaxe in order to get the stone that I need because I don't think that's gonna work. Entering safe zone. Nice. Wait, where does this go? Wait, did I already go down here? I've already been to. Oh, what is this? <laughs> that's rude. <laughs> um, castle crypt. Mine out and design your crypt to your liking. What? Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, there's nothing there either. I wonder if we can fill those and like utilize them for something. Like, obviously, it's probably not gonna take us to the end dimension, but maybe there's like a server use where like eventually you can unlock uh, Ender Pearls to go like you know some special dimension or something. I don't know. All right, so let me go. Uh, let's go make another axe. We should get a stone axe and let's make a pickaxe and hopefully get some stone from it. I guess. All right, my dude. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead. Let's, so let's go to tools. Uh, if I want to unlock this four or five wooden axes. Okay. So I should be able to craft one more wooden axe. That'll give me access to the stone axe, which is awesome. All right. So now I should be able to go in here, unlock tool forge with this click to unlock. Once you have some experience crafting wooden axes, you've crafted four or five wooden axes. Wait, what? Now does it count? You've unlocked the ability to craft stone axe. <gasps> yeah, what's it require? Uh, 16 cobblestone and six coal. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. Uh, okay. So I need a pickaxe because we're gonna need cobblestone and coal. Okay, so let's get that going. Uh, we probably should also get a wooden sword as well. Okay, so we have a wooden sword. We have a wooden pickaxe. That's super handy. What other tools do we have? Um, a shovel, I don't really see. A Q? I don't think we have any Q. Um, leather, leather. I probably can't. Can I unlock these? Head over to the farm and talk to Joe, and he'll help you craft some. Le get some leather to craft armor with. Okay, so we need to talk to Joe to get leather. Uh, what's up, guys? Not ready for you yet. Joe, what's up? How do I get leather? Uh, chicken, cow, sheep, rabbit, mushroom. This gives us raw chicken and feathers. Raw beef. Oh, leather. 800 gold? Okay, well, let's get that going. And what's that? What is it? What? This say took 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Product 8 raw beef and 26 leather. Click to breed cow. Okay, and click to breed chicken. Uh, I don't have any. How do I make gold? I'm guessing I probably sell some stuff, but like I don't know where to sell, unless it's like in a hub or something like that. Let's see. Hold on. Let's do this. Let's go to hub. Hub selector. Hub one. Let's go to like. Let's go to hub four. So what do we do here? Is there anywhere to make money? Banker, need gold? Yes. Uh, a variety of boosters to help your speed. 
up your kingdom progress. Gold packs, fill your bank with riches. Grace periods, protect. Need more gems? Gems are a premium currency used to buy gold, grace periods, and boosters. It's like... Oh, okay. And I have 120 gems. Raid reward booster, raid reward booster. Time booster, time booster. Uh, Go back. What else is there? Gold? 20,000 gold will be transferred to your bank. 300 gems? That's not bad. 100,000 gold. Uh, oh, fully fill bank. Oh, that's expensive. But 20,000 would be good to start. Hold on a second. Uh, buy gems at storefallenkingdom.co. Okay, so... Whoa, need to check your kingdom's bounces. Here you go. Okay, raid points gold. So there is... Okay, so I mean, it makes sense. There is, you know, you can spend some money. You can get some stuff. That's not terrible, but you don't have to. Which I like. I like that you don't have to do stuff. And it doesn't look like it's... It doesn't look like you're. we're going to get super ahead if we bought stuff. You know what I mean? Potato... Oh, wheat, bamboo, beetroot, potato. Well, there's our value of zero. Oh, it's probably because I don't have any. Okay, hold on. So I just I just made what leather, which means I'm gonna get steak. So I wonder how much steak is actually gonna be worth. Kingdom currencies. Don't worry, your balances are safe with me. Thank you. Uh okay, so what's a masonry shop? Can I act oh Stone slabs, so we can buy stone slabs. Buy price, three cobblestones. Oh, so you can buy stuff here with the raw resources, because I have wood. Artisan shop, let's prettify your kingdom. Building blocks, decoration blocks, plants, uh, glass, carpet, fences, miscellaneous. That's all fine and dandy. Like, I don't get, don't get me wrong, we want to make it pretty, but hey, we want to, we want to get ahead in the game. That's what we're here for uh got meat raw beef oh sell 275 gold wait we just how much did we spend on the beef though wait so is there a stock market because it looks like it has a red arrow down is there like a stock market value with all this stuff mining shop coal sell price is six 45 90 wait you make so much more selling meat though okay so hold on a second so if i talk to you a raw beef one raw beef is, is worth 275 gold so what does that what does that translate to cow wise let's go back to our kingdom let's go to the thing 275 for one raw beef so you give us 800 gold oh we get eight raw beef though Oh, well, that means we'd make so much. We, I mean, we would we would turn a profit. We would turn a profit off of that for sure. 30 minutes, though? Mm, instant finish. Uh, 61 gems to instant finish? Ooh! You need your crops to train your troops, you know. Build me, and I'll fuel your troops to be the best. So, leather is needed for making our troops. So that way we can go and raid other people, if I'm not mistaken. So let me talk to you. Welcome, King. You can come to me anytime to train your troops. They will fight by your side while raiding other kingdoms. You can gather most items needed to train troops from either visiting the mines or talking to the farmer. Once you get some troops, you can try raiding. Uh, come back to me here to strengthen up your troops. You can level up your troops by right-clicking on the troop you wish to level up. Okay, so a husk requires 10 rotten flesh. And it has damage, attack speed, movement speed, HP, stamina, storage space. Skeletons require bones. Pandas require bamboo. Parrots require wheat. So I made leather for absolutely no reason. <laughs> because it doesn't look like anything requires leather right now. Trainer troops. You already have this category. Selected pending troops. So that's going to show what troops are pending. Current troops. That's going to show what troops I have. Oh, this is kind of neat. This is pretty neato. Oh, look at those archers like training. That's super cool. Okay, so hold on a second. Uh, if I wanted to make like, so we need bamboo and bone and rotten flesh and wheat. Let's go talk to the other guy because I think this is the butcher. Yeah, that's the butcher. So you're the farmer. So wheat. 
bamboo, beetroot. So let's just do wheat. Let's try this. Uh, it's 150 gold. Can I do more than one? Let's try another one. Uh, wait, hold on. 250 gold for bamboo. Uh, you already are planting different crops in your farm. Okay, so I'm guessing maybe as you upgrade your farm, you can plant more. Uh, let's see. Farm level one. You need crops to train your fuel. Build me and I'll fuel your troops. That's what you speak of. Okay. And then upgrade. Upgrade your farm level two. Upgrade time is one and a half hours. Cost 75,000 gold. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Holy moly. Okay, so we got things to do. We got things to do, people. All right. So, um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to level up. I'm going to try to level up a pickaxe. What do I need? Uh, four more wooden pickaxes. And each pickaxe is 20... 20, 40, 60, 80. Oh, guess what I have? I have enough for all of those. <laughs> oh! All right, that's the last wooden pickaxe I should need. Now, um, it looks like we can raid other people. And if we get through, we get, I'm guessing, a portion of their gold. Which... It's cool and not cool. It's cool in the fact that you can make money that way, but it's also not cool that you might lose all of your money. I'm hoping it's only a percentage, though. Okay, so let's grab that. Let's do this. Let's unlock this guy. You've unlocked the ability to craft the stone pickaxe. Okay, so the stone pickaxe is cobblestone and coal. All right, so I want to go mine some cobblestone and coal real quick. Um, So ideally, is there a way to like keep your money safe? Probably not. So ideally, it's going to be kind of hard to... Uh, where am I going? I need to go to the mine. You're going to have to, I mean, ideally, you don't want to have any money in your bank and you want to just stockpile stuff, but I don't know if there's an invent. There is an inventory, isn't there? Hmm. So if I just leave everything in my inventories and don't grab the stuff out of it to sell it, then that would be maybe the ideal. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, let's go down here. So I need cobblestone and I need coal. So this is where the mining begins. Now, I don't know how to get coal. Is there coal in here? So that gives me what? Cobble? Okay. Do I seriously have auto jump on like a nub? What the heck? That is unacceptable. Oh, let's kill this guy. 13. 9. 5. I got him. What'd I get? Oh, I got rotten flesh! Heck yes! Uh, can I get night vision, please? <laughs> Wait, so if I kill these guys, I should be able to queue up a few something. Oh, this is cool. This is really neato. Uh, oh, there's coal up here. Oh, this stuff is going to be a pain to get, though, isn't it? Ow! What shot me? Where is this? Oh, Bone Archer. Did you shoot me? That's rude. Get out of here. You're rude. Ow! This guy's gonna kill him. Okay, fine. You can kill him. Just steal my kill. That's fine. I wanted this coal anyways. Okay, so how much coal did I get? One, one coal from that? <laughs> oh my gosh, finding coal is gonna be the worst! Wait, can we make coal out of logs? I wonder if we can make coal out of logs. Oh, that'd be super handy if we could. I don't know if we can, though. What if we go deeper into the mine? Oh. Oh, there's like this whole area that's all nicely lit up. Oh, there's a whole bunch of coal down here. Oh, heck yes. Let me get some of this. Yes, please. Okay. I was going to say, I was like, man, there's like no coal anywhere. This is going to be hard to find. I don't think I can get iron with a wooden pickaxe. Almost positive that I cannot. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try my darndest. Did I get it? Nope. <laughs> Heads up. You do not have a furnace. Uh, Consider this one on me. <laughs> we don't have a furnace. Oh, we got a furnace. Oh, somebody just died in front of me. Oh, but I got all their stuff. I got stuff from it. Oh, we got it. We probably need to get out of here then. Uh, Yeah, we probably should get out of here. Because if that person just died and they had armor on. Probably not looking too hot right now. Uh... I'm scared. I'm scared now. No, I don't need to go that way. I need to go back this way. Uh, we got iron and bone from that guy. <laughs> I feel like a jerk, but like, hey, it happens, you know? It happens. Uh, how much? I have 21 coal. Let's go and grab another one. 
and I have 50 cobble. Okay, so we should be able to make something new. We can actually, whoop. Okay, let's just run, just run, run. Everybody's in here with leather armor. So there's different level of mines too. I'm not, I'm not even gonna try. I'll, I'll get destroyed if I go down any further. Okay, so I have a furnace. Does that mean I can place a furnace? Like, did I actually get a furnace to place that I can do my own stuff in it? Because if I did, that means I can get coal from wood. <laughs> Even though coal wasn't really that hard to get. So, I want to try placing this down. I want to see what happens. Like, can I place this? No. I can't place that there. Can I place it here? Oh, I can! Okay, wait. So, if I put... Hold on. If I put these, this... I put that in that. Is that gonna give me coal? Can I use that for this? Oh, that would be nice. Even though coal's or wood's really not that readily available, but still, charcoal. Okay. So if I want to make a stone pickaxe, twenty-four cobble and six coal, will that take that? I don't know. All right. We got ourselves a stone pickaxe. We had a stone. Oh, it's right there. Stone pickaxe. Nice. Awesome. All righty. Well, that is going to end this episode. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This is a pretty, I'm going to say this is a pretty cool server. <laughs> I like it. I like the tower defense. I like the town building. I like all this fun stuff. It's pretty fun. It's a good time. So if you want to check it out, I'll have a link down below. Obviously, it's not my server. It's not affiliated with me at all. I take absolutely no credit in it. I'm just playing on it. I'm having a good time. It's fun. Please don't raid me too bad because I don't want to lose everything. <laughs> but thank you so much for coming out. And uh, you have a wonderful rest of your day.